This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey Epic Crafters, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. The Mount Daniel Blaster using only cardboard and paper. Stop right there, communal scum. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. <coughs> Hey, I'm Raphael. I used to work in the movie industry as a professional steadicam operator until I discovered that I could make pretty much any of the movie props I'm so passionate about using only this. But making movie props out of cardboard wasn't good enough. That's not good enough! I wanted to make them as screen accurate as possible, but that was still not good enough. Not enough. So I decided to create this YouTube channel where I show you how to make them step by step with templates so that you can make them yourself at home even if you're not a professional prospector like me. That's good for me. So if you are new here, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next crazy build with cardboard. Do it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the Mandalorian blaster using only cardboard paper, some glue, and visible tools. Of course, you'll find a complete list of everything I use in the description box below, as well as all templates necessary for you to make it yourself at home. Now, let's dive right into the tutorial. The first thing to do is cutting out the templates that you'll find in my shop in the description box below. Next, glue them on your pieces of cardboard using a regular glue stick like this one. Afterwards, using a precision knife, a box cutter or very sharp scissor, cut out the pieces. I'm expecting precision. You'll have to do that for all the following pieces of this tutorial. First, cut the pattern number one from the template number one, as well as the patterns two, three, and four from the template two, three, and four, and glue them on top of each other following the number order using white glue or any type of PVA glue. Spread the glue with your fingers, and glue the next piece on top of it, flush with these edges here and here. And do the same for the following ones. Glue the piece number five on the grip over here. Who would stack pizza boxes like this? And of course, repeat all of it for the opposite side using the reversed pieces from the templates five, six, and seven. By the way, I'd like to make more blasters like this one from Star Wars and from movies in general. But I'm not sure which one I should make, so is there a particular one that you'd like me to make from cardboard? Let me know in the comment section below. With your fingers, crush these edges here and here. And do the same on the opposite side. Cut the piece number 6 from the template number 8 and glue it here on the reversed side. Glue the piece number 7 above over here, the piece number 8 on top of it and the piece number 9 on top of the piece number 6 
Flush with this edge. Then, using a regular pencil, draw a line over here, cut it with your precision knife, and widen slightly the opening with a small tool like that. And do the same over here. Glue the piece number 10 here. And the piece number 11 over here. Of course, today's video is about Mando's blaster, but if you want to check out the other tutorials to make the rest of the armor out of cardboard so that you can look like that, I linked the full series in the card here, as well as in the description box below. What? <laughs> Okay, but just for a short flight, I have work to do. Let's go. Then cut the piece number 12, smash it in the direction of the corrugations. So that you end up with a kind of tube like that. And close the opening with some glue. To do that, I used a cheap 15 watt hot glue gun as it allows me to glue these edges quite quickly while I'm holding them against each other. Don't forget that you'll find all the tools and products that I use in the description box below this video. Cut the piece number 14 and wrap it around the tip over here. Cut another one and glue it next to it over here. Cut the piece number 13 Again, smash it in the direction of the corrugations. Glue this much. And the same way, glue all the small ones here. So that you end up with something that looks like that. And glue the two elements together, here and here. That would be the barrel of the blaster. And glue this side of the barrel over here. Don't forget that all the templates that you need to make this blaster are in the description box below, as well as the tools and products that I use. Damn it! Did it again! Next, make a mix of white glue and water. Then tear pieces of a brown cardboard paper, the same kind you receive within your Amazon deliveries, and soak them in the mix of white glue and water. Remove the surplus of liquids with your fingers, and apply the paper on the entire blaster. Don't hesitate to use a small tool like that to do the narrow areas. that will smooth out the entire surface of your blaster. That felt oh. really smooth. So in the pocket. And for these elements here and here, I used some gray paper. And for the trigger as well. Then, using that same gray paper, make a thin roll. First, roll tightly the paper with your fingers. and soak it into the same mix of white glue and water you used before. 
let it dry, make another one the same way, and glue them together on the tip here. Then make several notches here on both sides using your precision knife. To end up with something that looks like that, and glue it on this side over here. Make another thicker roll the same way, with your precision knife carve a hole into it, and glue it next to the other one over here. Make another one like that, cut a thick slice from it, and glue it in between here. Using brown paper, make another thin roll like this one, cut several thin slices from it, and using the reference pictures that you'll find with the templates, glue them on the blaster to make the small bolts and screws. Still using brown paper, make another thick roll like that and use it to make the thicker bolts of the blaster. Also, if you feel like you could use more extended visuals about the specific step that I might have shown a little bit too fast, You're too fast. I want to let you know that I also recorded the entire construction from start to finish and I made a long timeless video available for the members of this channel down in the description box below. Next, cut a piece of cardboard that looks like that, crush strongly the corrugations of it with a steel tube or wool pin. Smash, smash, smash. I, I... Apply white glue on it. and roll it up tightly with your fingers. To end up with an even thicker roll like that, and glue it into the bottom opening of the grip. Make another one the same way, and glue it into the opening of the hammer over here. As some of you may know already, I'm working on a short film on my own at this very moment. And to do so, I had to improve some of my drawing skills because I had to do the storyboard myself. This is how it looks so far. As you can see, it's not perfect, but for a first draft, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, you must know that about two months ago, I knew almost nothing about drawings and storyboarding was like magic to my eyes. And then I found the perfect class to learn everything about storyboard, on Skillshare. In this course, storyboard artist Ryan Faulkner explains why storyboards and scripts matter to filmmaking, covers core concepts of cinematography and camera angles, and illustrates a short script from start to finish, revealing key insider tips on how to think like a storyboard artist, see like a camera, and draw from your mind's eye. This is a fascinating, engaging class for everyone who loves good stories and wants to tell their own. Seriously guys, I watched the whole series like 3 times, it's so good. And after that, I was able to do the first draft of my storyboard in like 3 days. Yeah, you saw the result, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah, if you are interested in drawings, storyboarding or even movies in general, check that out, you won't regret it. Other than that, Skillshare is a huge online learning community full of inspiring classes for creative people like you and me. It offers countless hours of educational content on drawing, of course, but also painting, clay sculpting, illustration design, photography, video editing, productivity, lifestyle, you name it, they have a course for it. So if you'd like to support me and this channel and you'd like to give it a try, the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity right now. Just click the first link right there in the description box below. Next, cut two squares of a very thin uncorrugated cardboard, the same kind you receive from Amazon for the small items, or from your several boxes, and glue them on top of each other.
so that you have a thick piece of cardboard like that. You're gonna use it to cut these pieces from the template number 8. Glue this one over here. Glue another bolt here. And two small grey rollers over here. Glue this little one on the top of the barrel here to make the front side. Next, cover the remaining ones with grey paper. Shape the side of this one with your fingers that way to make it more curvy and glue it on top of the wall over here. And glue another bolt on the wrong part here. Glue this one over here to make the slide stop and glue two small bolts on each side. and glue the three remaining elements on the other side that way. From the same thick uncorrugated cardboard you made before, cut a thin stripe, cut it in several smaller parts, and glue them on top of the blaster over here. Next, still using the reference pictures, draw the last details on the blaster. Cut them with a precision knife and widen the openings with a small tool like that. Next, using your pencil, darken the grip that way. It's basically a child's drawing. Afterward, using the pattern from the template number 9, cut two large pieces of cardboard like that, glue them on top of each other. Cut two pieces number 23, glue them on top of each other and glue the whole elements over here. And the same way you did for the blaster, cover it with grey paper. Next, apply two layers of a glossy varnish on the entire construction. Pretty cool, isn't it? So all you need to make this blaster yourself at home are this tutorial and the templates that you'll find in my shop in the description box below. And if you want to learn how to make Mondo's helmet, his armor, or even Gogus himself and more things from the Mondo Land show, click this playlist right here, subscribe if you are not already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next epic build from cardboard. Also, don't forget to click the first link in the description box below to get your one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. It's so worth it guys, I've been subscribed for about a year and I'm still using it like almost every day. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget there is something awesome in your cardboard boxes.